Alright guys, I'm back to continue my playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2. So right now, uh, we don't have too many missions to do. Um, we have this one up here, which is a, a collection debt mission. And then we have this one over here, which is for Jose. Which, uh, I think his missions are more of like the hunting type missions, which... I don't like we have a few more down here um, but I don't like to go to new areas and get new missions until I've completed everything in one area so let's uh, head over here and it's not you know, too you know, far away oh, I'm not sure what's going on here Yeah, it kind of forced me off my yep. horse. Um, Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan! Yes, Miss Grimshaw? One of the girls saw that friend of yours, Mary Gillis, sniffing about. Mary? Yes. I never liked that woman, Mr. Morgan. Funny business. Yeah, one, one thing that is getting really annoying that a lot of people are talking about online is uh, this game doesn't feel like a sandbox game. It kind of like forces you to do certain stuff. I mean, I'm like six or seven hours into it and... I was just able to play a game of poker. Yeah. So we'll see how it goes. I heard this game is like 60 hours long for the single player. Evening, Mr. Whatever do you want? <coughs> oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm... I'll... Really? Certainly, would you? Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. You owe me money. Why did it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir. 
I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debt... I'm... I'm not running anywhere. I'm... I'm... You are a slippery little bastard. But I got you now. Please. Please, shelter. Strauss told me you needed a beating. You saying he was right? What will that solve? Please. Please, no. You borrowed money from my business partner, Harris Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife or your family or something. We ain't your idea of <coughs> charity. Is that clear? <coughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. It's kind of cool, it automatically like takes you back home sometimes. How did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. We're going with the duster.
Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. bags <laughs> gotta step up sometime well mm, how about this yes there Oh, that's fine. Don't mind if I do. That was real fun, but I got business. All right, let's go do the uh, next mission. Good boy. 
Yeah, that's it, boy. Yeah, good boy. It's all right, boy. Heads on a swivel. Like that, near killing Tommy out in the street. Some of the funny says that. Just move on. We don't need your type around here. Fine then. I've had it with thugs like you. Think you can bully your way through life. This body will never be found.
morning, Bran. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A collar for you. Hello, Arthur. Mary? I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's, um... Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and... You come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Ah, okay. Listen, Arthur, I... I'm... My family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but, but I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please. Arthur, will you help me? Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. Um, when we come back, we're going to go do this mission for Mary. So, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for some more Red Dead Redemption too.